Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So um, it is Saturday. Oh, I don't even know the date, but I finally got a couple of weeks off of working on Hot Rod Garage. So I figured I would jump on the 57 truck that I'm doing for a customer named Judith. Um, she's had this truck for many years. I think I did a video on it not too long ago, but I'm um, doing a full chassis swap. Um, this thing is a, it's an older build. It's got a turbo 350 in it. It's got an older motor. It's got a Camaro rear differential. It's got some cool stuff, but it's kind of dated. And uh, she wants to drive in long distances. Um, you can see here that somebody did a Camaro front frame swap. And the level of uh, a mystery work going on there is just a little too sketchy. It's like no way. She asked me if she could, if I could make it so she could drive it on long distances. And uh, I of course said sure. And then I started looking at it and I was just like, uh, once I got it in the lift, I was like, yeah, I can make it run for long distances, but I wouldn't drive this thing back to your house. And uh, yeah, it's just some sketchy stuff going on here. So um, I opted to give her a little bit of an update. Um, she loves this truck, so we're gonna take good care of it. There was some extra sketchy stuff. I can't even see it, it's too dark in here where they took just a chunk of metal and like hammered it into the frame and welded it so it wouldn't fall out. Oh yeah, that might be it right there. I don't know if it shows up. But it is, you can kind of see. Yeah, it just sketches them to the 10th power. So, what we did was I called, um, I just, Joe Customer, I just called TCI. Told them what we were doing, and bam, there it is, as soon as it focuses. It's a full chassis. They can sell just the frame. It's designed to go under the you know, stock body on, stock drivetrain or you can specify what you wanted. I went with uh, power rack and pinion, disc brakes, um, Mustang two style front suspension, stock spindles. I'm gonna use the differential out of the truck. Um, I might have to update that motor. I fired it up yesterday and after it sat for a couple of weeks, it was just blowing a ton of gray smoke. Generally means valve guys are garbage. Right after that, valve guys will start falling down and punching holes and pistons, so not good. Um, I got this thing bare metal. And me and Joe prepped it and painted it here at the shop. And uh, it turned out pretty decent, pretty happy with it. They do an excellent job over at TCI for the money. Very cost effective and uh, real rigid frame. There were some things I already found on this uh, truck that would make it kind of creaky and sketchy to drive the bolts that hold the bed on, and the bed is actually the structure of the rear frame stopping it from twisting. Um, you can look in here and see that there is a plate right here. It focuses, and then the nut, cert goes on, nut plate goes on the top and the bolt goes through, and that ties that side to this side. Well, three of them on this side don't have a plate in them. They're just bolt. They were just nuts on top of the frame rail. So, not too cool. Um, exhaust way too small. Uh, it's got Flowmasters on it. So that's what we got going on today. And it's difficult because I'm looking around at all the other stuff I want to work on. But man, look at that wagon right there. Need to work on that thing. And I shot some edge primer on the 69. It's a lot of moisture in the air. I did that this morning, sanded that down, and uh, etch primed it, self etching primer, both sides. But yeah, need to get going on this thing. Okay, that's it. 57 project is in the mix. Just gonna put that top of this. Simple job.
um, thanks for checking out, you guys. See you later. Oh, crap. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click the little bell. I think that's the alert button. It will notify you when I post more of these videos. See you later.